welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is We're All Gonna Die. I post every Monday. Like and subscribe and leave a comment. Let's get started with the vlog. Hello, you guys. I feel like for some reason I'm looking really blue. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I have no idea what I've recorded for this video at this point because I have so much footage that I just have not used earlier this week. I went, sorry, earlier this month, I went to go see Harry Styles. Right now, we're on our way to go try to get some pictures from my Instagram. Um, I want to kind of explain about that a little bit more, but I think that'll be in like a second because I'm kind of running late and we're trying to catch the, sh the sun before it's gone. So let me try to see if I could explain this. Basically, uh, it is, I mean like we only have like a little bit of time until it's sunset, but my cousin tries to do some, and I said this in my last video, but my cousin tries to do for like the holidays, like costume outfits. Okay, that's not her yet. Anyway, and we found this one building. I was like looking out for this, right? I found this one building and I was like, that would kind of like look cute, but I have to think of like the poses that I'm gonna do. Typically, I'll look at like gracefully, or any other like uh, micro influencer that I think is cute and um, actually my cousin's um, on her way she's about to sit down let me see um, and then we're gonna go eat and then go see a scary movie which is always super fun but I think we're gonna go see Candyman actually I'll, I'll double check we like to do something fun hey Melanie how are you Malone? Doing good, how are you? Good, you got your Nancy Drew outfit? Okay, so, now that my cousin is in here, uh, like I was saying, photo shoots, photo shoot idea, I'm gonna drive to the building, and then you guys can kinda see the vibe, and like, how I try to pose. So we're gonna get there, and then I'll try to show you guys, like, the behind the scenes. Cause I want to get that on footage. Guys, okay, so we pulled up to this like, little building, that I had spotted earlier and I thought it was so cute. And like inside is so cute. And my cousin did this great thing where she yeah. looked up to see like if the businesses were gonna be in here. They're but all closed. Yeah, and basically what I do like to do, I must say, is I like to kind of get my phone basically and try to like envision how the picture will look. So um, hopefully, I mean, I don't know. It's not too bad, there's not that many people here. Um, and I'm wearing more of a casual outfit. Do you mind showing my outfit yeah. real quick? Yeah, this is more of a Like an outfit. I'm gonna pull it down a, like a little bit just so you can kind of see my pants So it's just I feel like it's still kind of summery, which I don't mind like I think I think it's Like we're literally like it's a hundred degrees still here. <laughs> So um, yeah, we're gonna set you guys up and then we're gonna try to take pictures Hopefully we get something I haven't really been posting on my Insta because I just feel really, uh, not, it's just, it's a little too much right now with just everything that's been going on, but, um, we're gonna try to take these pictures, okay? <laughs> sure, we'll get the shot, like, I just pulled up whatever outfit, mm -hmm. um, before you get eaten alive. <laughs> okay guys, we're wrapping it up. I think we got some good shots. <laughs> People have to come back. So now we're gonna go eat and then we'll see what we end up doing later. But yeah, this is like, I feel like if you find like a cute building, especially like this, this is like a bunch of business, businesses but it looks like a, uh, like a, a little house. 
So, I don't know, if that's your aesthetic, like, I would suggest look for something like that. Now we're gonna go eat a, a burger. This is like, um, like a bunch of like lawyers, family, like businesses type of stuff, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like a smaller, well, you know, but I was also gonna say, it kind of looks like, um, <laughs> it kind of, I was gonna say, it kind of looks, oh shoot, well, no, actually, no, this is not what I was gonna say, I was gonna say, we're like, where are the cameras, so right? they can see us just like, literally, <laughs> like, posing, it's kind of like, kind of like a dumb thing, you it know? It was so funny when we were gonna move the back. We were what? We were gonna move the Oh my gosh. I, I'm pretty sure I got that on camera. But I was like, so there's like a mat in there and I'll insert a clip. Like I'll insert a clip right here. We did that in 10 minutes though. Yeah. Okay, but also cause like Melanie was eating alive. But, or being eaten alive. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, so like my, my pants are dark, right? And on the floor there is a black mat. So like my legs were blending in with the black mat and I was like, I don't know Melanie, I don't really like how these are coming out. And, and she was like, should we move it? I'm literally dead. Um, but yeah, now we're gonna go get some food. And um, yeah, I feel like, do you think that, like do you like watching those kinds of videos? Like I, don't, I always look those kinds of videos up like, take pictures with me, come take pictures with me or whatever, or at least I do, I don't know. So I feel like it's interesting. I like the tips, you know, how you're oh, yeah. like, uh, this is kind of what you want to go for. You know? Yeah, I feel like we'll definitely come back here because mm -hmm. like compared to the very first time that we took pictures, like right at the mm -hmm. parking lot, do you remember? We were, I mean, like, it was a success, but then some of it yeah. wasn't, and I couldn't tell why, and, like, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm slowly getting better, mm -hmm. you know, where it's like, okay, we have some poses, mm -hmm. uh, the lighting has to be a certain way, mm -hmm. or whatever, I don't know, it's, like, a little bit quicker, Yeah. and sometimes we get it, sometimes we don't, <laughs> I don't even know if I was in the camera, but now we're gonna go drive, and I will I will show you what we ended up doing. So I totally forgot to film in there, <laughs> but we did pick up a pumpkin milkshake as well as a, a burger from this one place. And I guess I can show it to you in case you guys are curious. The place is called, by the way, it's called Project Pollo. So this is what it looks like. I can't fucking see anything. <laughs> It's because it's like all yellow or whatever, <laughs> orange. Anyway, we were too full. I had a salad as well. I didn't want the rest of that. Not right now. I'm gonna challenge you myself to try to finish this. Now, we're gonna go try to go see Candyman. But let's find the theater. It is so dark out right now. It makes me wonder, cause like I've seen on some Insta people's thing, they'll take pictures in the dark. I'm like, how? A really good camera. <laughs> I know, right? You're right. It has to be a good camera. Mm -hmm. Good morning. It is the next day. Do not look at my underarms. I am trying to film two videos at once and I just woke up and had a burger, which is like a great start to the day. I'm gonna go try to make some coffee and so the video, I'm gonna try to film in here and it's like another ballet one and then I know I'll be sweating after that, but <clears throat> and then I will go and oh, my hair looks just whatever then I'm gonna go and do a cardio workout because I need to get a move on on this working out thing anyway yesterday we did end up seeing Candyman that was great I wouldn't say scary but that writers movies are always thought-provoking and if you know what I'm talking about then you know what I'm talking about Anyway, gonna go have a cup of coffee, then we can come back and 
further discuss anything else, I am actually gonna go and get dressed in pink, so. Okay, so you guys, now I'm just gonna go to my car and I'm gonna try to go do some cardio on the treadmill. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I need to start moving my body more and do more cardio, so that's what I'm about to go do. Um, yeah, let's, let's go do that. Typically what, I'm really trying you guys. Like I'm gonna try to go a few times more than I normally go. I think it really, I'm really trying to just like, I did ballet, but I think I needed to add in cardio because I need to do a lot more movement. We're on our way home now. Okay, so I just did the intro and outro for my, actually I forgot to do the intro. I just did the intro and outro for uh, my video for ballet and now I have to go to the dry cleaners because this shirt is like a poor, it just needs to be taken to the dry cleaners and it also has a big old stain because I had chocolate over it. I need to buy a, um, a steamer for clothes. I think I'm going to go get a second cup of coffee. Like, is that bad? Also, you guys, my nails, like if you can, this is so dramatic. Like, this is super like, oh, I'm blinded. Like, um, 50s, whatever, old movies. Uh, so these nails, I they're the press-on nails that I did the other day. Anyway, um... Yeah, so I did a quick little outfit, a linen top because it's still 100 degrees outside. Even though in the morning it gets nice, these are my um, these are my Calvin Klein jeans that I found at the thrift store, and then of course the same bag that I always wear. You guys, it's kind of exciting. I just want to talk about how like I got a, a business reached out to me, and hopefully that goes through, but. It's like one of the first collaborations I've ever received on my email and it's like something that I actually uh, think is something that I would actually purchase basically and I'm just like really happy about it. Um, I don't know, it feels like sometimes I go through this wave of like I don't put that much attention to my YouTube. So I'll just post like whatever kind of video and sometimes I do and that just kind of happens naturally because we don't have Like I can't always be so so hardcore focused on my videos but Like as in like putting like 20 hours into a video in my personal opinion. That's just not sustainable So, you know, I go through flows where I just invest more time weekly anyway but some like reaching getting comments from you guys and then also like having brands like reach out to me even though this is just like the beginning it feels like okay like this is official I, even like getting monetized and like um the fact that like i'm making money from this like it, you know it's it it's not that much but i'm doing better than definitely than before and i just feel like this is so exciting for me and it just means so much to me and i also <laughs> this is silly but like i love I, i've said this before but i love hold on i'm getting uncomfortable i love watching like sex in the city and like gossip girl and things like that and i love like getting ready and just the fact that I don't know like just the fact that my closet and like I'm starting to get into shoes and just like colorful things are being added into my life it makes this is silly but like it makes I feel like so much more like a woman does it, are you guys like growing into that I was such a like let me like adjust you guys I was such a like little I guess not a tomboy like I don't want to sound like what's her name um, Kendall Jenner it's not that I was a tomboy I was just more like I just wanted to it's that funny thing where like you want to be different from everyone but like everyone that's trying to be alternative and different kind of dresses the same so really are you different from it you know it's that thing I just didn't really fit in that mold and now I feel like I'm I just appreciate colors and just closets and wardrobes and the details into clothes like it's just and being a girl like and being colorful and just like wearing clothes that makes you feel happy and understanding fabrics and 
I don't know, like, I mean, a, a little bit more. I'm not, like, a nerd or anything. And I feel like such an adult, too, because I'm going to go take something to the dry cleaners. Like, what? Like, only people from, like, it feels like people in, like, New York and adults and Sex in the City and, like, my mom go do that. And my sister, I guess. My oldest sister. So, like, I'm, like, an adult and I am wearing cute clothes. And, like, a year ago, honestly, a little bit over a year ago, like, I was so broke, you guys. So, it's just kind of crazy and, um... Yeah, I just am really thriving right now. <laughs> Material things can <laughs> give you happiness, you know? I, I said it. I just pulled up to the uh, dry cleaners and I realized I need to Ugh, there's a guy right next to me. I'm sorry, I got shy. So, I just pulled up to the dry cleaners. And I need to come back in a couple of days. Uh, and then I'm gonna go to Zara. I'm gonna go to Zara and see if I could find stuff. So see, the thing with like posting on your Instagram is like, you need to constantly think of um, outfits. I don't know, and the thing is, it's like I have such a small little closet so um shopping it is and also um i'm glad i ordered that red dress because it'll it's still kind of summer but also but also you guys um i have like a lot of events because my sister is getting married so we have like a lot of events to do so um yeah i'm gonna leave this this like co comet cleaners and we're gonna go see if we find anything at Zara. I know I found things like online that I liked. Oh, sorry. I know I found things that I online that I liked, but um, I don't know. And also in the dry cleaners, they're like, hey, silk is really hard to clean. So we're gonna try our best. I like should be more careful with my silk shirt is what I'm trying to say. So yeah. We're gonna get going. <laughs> okay, so we're back on the road, and I also wanted to mention something else. I literally already forgot. <laughs> Dude, is it the medication, or is it just me? Like, I think it's just me. Um, I think I was just talking about outfits, and oh my gosh, you guys, I literally forgot. So, actually, I remember. So, on to, like, a serious topic, or a slightly more serious topic, I am really good at putting so many things and this is something that like Loki I had a breakdown last week I think um I'm so good at putting so many things on my plate because one of my fears this is like getting too emo but one of my fears is just like not doing everything that I want before I die and like that cycle is like never gonna end right like even if I die at 90 I'm sure that there's things that I will not get to complete but that's one of them and and I mean we could like that could go like in, that's a whole like video topic um so I'm really trying to push myself out and and be more adventurous and things like that but at the same time you guys at the same time, um, I tend to put so many things on my plate, and like this week we're kind of good. It's it's one of those things where like I'm sure you guys know because there's like a a meme about it where it's just like, uh, you know, this week is you know like there's quite a bit of things on my plate this week, but like next week everything it'll be like smooth sailing. I could chill next week, and like that's like every fucking week you know what I mean although this week for me is kind of like more of a chill like I am <laughs> I mean I still put so many things on my plate and like I end up kind of like losing my mind because like ultimately like you can't check everything off of your list which is like kind of affects me mentally because it's just like I can't cross everything off of my list especially like with the whole cancer thing and everything like that like I remember it just bugged me so much that 
there was so many phone calls that I needed to do and I never got them done just because there were so many people I had to call. I guess it's so that I don't have to think about other things. I will just do a bunch of things in between. And the thing is, it's like the things that I do, like sometimes like they're not even that much. Like a regular person can can get through it and get it done or whatever. But like for me, emotionally, it's like too much, especially if... I don't know it's like something that it's hard to explain I think it's just like I put so much on myself so much and if it's not physically it'll be mentally or vice versa or both at the same time so yeah I'm doing two videos this week just because I feel like it's like I can do better I could do like if we're just talking about YouTube right it's like I could do better I can post more I can get more money um I could you know post like everything everyone wants to see all the ballet stuff I could post like about me I could post about my cancer thing and the thing is it's like that's like a lot that really is a lot it's hard because sometimes like again if we're strictly only talking about YouTube because I swear I do it with other things it's just like I want to see all my friends at the same time but it's just like impossible and do all the things anyway whatever and like go out as much as I can like I, as, as much as possible just I don't know whatever okay but back onto YouTube it can feel like a little disappointing when I don't see some growth because it's frustrating it's like a lot of work and that's why sometimes I not give up on YouTube but I just don't feel as excited to post a video when you guys comment and things like that like that like really encourages me so so much like I, I don't think you guys understand but also like when I see that I'm making more my numbers are going up there's more subscribers like that to me that to me feels like it's like I can do this like I do see some growth and another thing too is like I need to start posting on TikTok again I was doing pretty good actually you guys but I stopped because it was too much emotionally like after um you know I had someone die it's just like emotionally I, I, there was just too much going on but um I definitely think I need to get back to it and I want it to only be like about clothes and stuff and just like girly stuff I don't know um but a lot of guys a lot of guys follow me on there which is kind of weird and this is the thing too it's like when you work for yourself like you think that it'll be smoother but it's actually not because like you're working 24 7 so I'm like constantly thinking and I only got two days off so I'm constantly thinking like how can I make content out of this and make a lot of content i know that i said quite a bit and i know the camera angle was horrible the whole time but yeah i don't know it's some things that i think about and i think i'm just trying to be transparent with it like it, it it's it's not as easy as it looks but then when i get like the things that i want it feels so rewarding so so you guys i think i'm gonna end the video here um we went to the mall really quick and we didn't really find too much. So, I mean, that's good for me, I guess. Um, and yeah, and I have to now edit this video and edit the other video that I'm working on and try to get on some phone calls. And then sooner rather than later, I'll be having an additional surgery. And also, um, what's another thing that I'm doing? I've literally, there's like quite a bit going on this, this month um, for me. But I will talk to you guys super duper soon. Um, and I do want to film like a spooky seasoned video. I don't know what that would be though. Anyway, <clears throat> I'll talk to you guys really, really soon. See you next week. Hope you were having a fabulous day. See you next Monday. <laughs> Goodbye.